This segment is about using pad paper to remove water buildup on pads and for sticky pads. You can purchase these at your local music store or online. There's a variety of um, pad paper that is available. Zonda has a product called Woodwind Drying Paper. Yamaha calls it cleaning paper. BG has a wonderful product which is uh, called Pad Dryer. It is reusable and uh, comes in two different sizes or many different sizes. For clarinet they have a smaller size for the B flat soprano clarinets and a larger one for bass clarinets. I highly recommend this product. So if you notice that you have a water bubble uh, between the pad and the tone hole, or if when you're playing it makes a gurgly sound, that just means you have water buildup in the tone hole. To get rid of the water bubble, hold your clarinet up to your mouth, open the key, and blow across the opening really fast. You might have to do this a couple times. If it's still in there, you can take your clarinet apart Put your mouth on the tenon. A lot of times it's this key right here, it tends to get um, water in it. You can uh, plug the other end of the tenon with your hand, but your mouth here. Cover your holes and open that key while you're blowing really fast. Just blow through the clarinet. And the pressure will push a lot of that build up out of the tone hole. So if it's still in there, or if you're in the middle of playing and you need a quick fix, you can use this pad paper. So open the, the hole, put your pad paper in there, and close it up, and you might have to um, uh, move this several times, and you'll probably see that the paper is getting wet. If um, you, know, you don't want to pull it out with it in there because you don't want to damage the pad. So make sure every time that you want to move the pad that you do open the, the uh, key. All right. So that will take care of water in your pad. So if you have sticky pads, do the same type of thing. So this works really well for that. So for sticky pads, you can still use that same paper or you can use what Yamaha calls the powder paper. So powder paper is just like the other paper but on one side of it it has powder. Uh, this comes in a pack with a variety of um, sizes here so it's good for clarinet and for bass clarinet because the paper's kind of bigger for those larger, um, larger pads. So it says uh, to use the pad uh, paper uh, by putting it in the, the opening with the plain side of it towards the pad. And there's a little bit of powder residue. I can't even feel it here, but there's a little bit of it in the paper. And that will, a lot of times, take care of sticky pads. They also recommend that you dry the pad first. So you like use the pad paper first, and then you can use this powder paper. I like to use this powder paper uh, for bass clarinets. Um, the Bass clarinets tend to, with a register key, those keys tend to stick a lot, and so this paper is really um, effective for that, for getting rid of the stickiness in there. Um, another um, thing that I do sometimes when these stick really bad is I will actually put baby powder on paper. So if I'll get um, the um, pad paper here and put just a little bit of baby powder in there, and put that on the, uh, the the pad, and that will take care of that as well. Um, you just don't want to end up with a lot of powder then on your clarinet. Um, if you have don't have any of that with you, and you still have a problem with sticky pads, you can also use a dollar bill. Um, those work really great uh, for taking care of the stickiness. The paper is really nice for that. Um, however, I, I don't recommend this all the time because dollar bills are dirty, so you don't want to add dirt. You want to just um, get rid of the stickiness and the water. 